Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, we are gonna do kind of a refresh of this space of outside and my entryway. I got a few more items for the inside of the entryway as well as really cleaned up and made their front porch very minimalist and minimalistic, I guess that's the word, after Christmas because once the clutter and the Christmas decor was gone, I wanted it super simple. So I'm gonna show you that. I accidentally, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you, I accidentally deleted a whole clip. I'm not 100% sure which one it is, but we are gonna improvise. So this is gonna be like your refresh after Christmas. For a lot of you guys, it's still really, really cold. For us, it's about 40s, but it's gonna be going up very quickly here in Florida. So, you know, it's definitely like Christmas is over and it is time to get the house back in order. It's almost Valentine's Day. I am gonna add a few little things for Valentine's Day, but that'll be next week's video. Today, I'm just gonna be showing you some really easy and simple ways to just refresh your space after Christmas. A lot of words for me trying to say that. So that is it, let's go ahead and get started. So I went to Home Depot or we went to Home Depot and I picked out a couple of things that I was looking for. I wanted some very lively or fresh plants because we are in Florida. It doesn't get too terribly cold here. So I wanted to keep the green because I just love all the green for Christmas and I wanted to keep that going. So I got some snake plants and I will show you the planter we got last year, but it's so deep. I had to come up with this little idea. So I got these little 97 cent buckets or things that you put your plants in and I'm just going to hot glue it two on top of each other basically to make a platform for the snake plant to sit, to sit on because again it's so deep I didn't want to fill it completely up with soil so this is how we are going to modify and make a little platform for it. Here is the planter from Home Depot. It is costly but it is a really good size. It's sturdy and it is honestly so good like weather wise because it gets really sunny here and things will just warp and get nasty so I went ahead and took the made the plunge and got it and I've had it for about them you know eight months and it's they worked out great so we're putting the little makeshift platform in here there's Miss Emma hanging out with me you can definitely tell she's a Florida girl we filmed this at the beginning uh, actually like at the end of December so we're still wearing shorts as you can see it's a little bit colder now but you know so I've got the boys helping Liam is pouring the soil in and we're gonna put the platform back up and we're just basically gonna feel all around it and then put the snake plant on top you'll see we're gonna have to add some styrofoam and all kinds of stuff because again I didn't want to fill the entire thing up with soil because I like to change my plants out and I've never had a snake plant I've seen them I like how clean and minimalist it looks you know like I told you I'm really going for that right now especially like after the holidays we're gonna keep it really looking fresh um that's until easter easter we're gonna bring back some color you guys so if you guys like easter stuff and decor and decorating y'all make sure you hit that subscribe button because it is going to be on on this channel i love having the boys help with this type of stuff because you know like they need to get their hands dirty let's just be honest and it's somewhat interesting especially for my Liam he loves this kind of stuff so he was a really really big help I'd like to eventually get a garden in the backyard and have them help with that as well so Chris has taken some styrofoam we had had and we are continuing to build this up again we had noticed with the other one that it needed more of a platform. We filled a lot of that with soil and I'm like, no, let's keep building a platform. So with the second one, we added the styrofoam and we're gonna fill the potting soil on top. I did show you that bag of moss I had purchased. I actually got it from at home. You can see right here. Um, if my camera will cooperate and get in focus. But after I put it all down, Chris was like, can I be honest? I don't love it. So I ended up pulling it back out, which was fine because I made a really cool little um, moss planter with the um, one of the little ceramic balls I got from Target. It turned out super duper cute. 
Oh, but here's a picture of it so you can see. If you guys want details on how I made it, just let me know in the comments below. But here is what it looks like. Can I just say, this is like a breath of fresh air. These beautiful, vibrant green snake plants. They're also really good for the air, so I knew I could bring them inside when need be. But I have my eucalyptus wreaths. Got those from Kirkland's last year. Don't know if they still have them. Y'all know I love making wreaths, so let me know in the comments below. Y'all want to see me make a wreath? And if so, tell me what kind. That welcome mat is from at home last year. Again, I'm not gonna buy something new if I don't have to. Now we are moving on into the entryway. This is a very clean space. I just cleaned it up to show you guys. Some of the items I've had, you probably, if you follow me on my cleaning channel, have seen it for a while, but I just wanted to really like bring the space together with you guys. So I've removed everything and I'm also gonna show you some of the new little things that I got. But I love this entryway. The ceilings are about 20 feet and it's just beautiful and grand and I'm just so thankful for it. Um, we are gonna get started. I love the banister, it's my favorite thing. So this picture here, I purchased at Home Goods earlier, um, well, last year, and it was about $250, and I was okay with that. I don't usually spend that type of money, but I was okay because it is a substantially large piece for such a grand, if you will, entryway. So it's about 48 inches tall. So when you've got something like this with a huge wall, you kinda have to fill that space baskets look good mirrors are phenomenal or a large piece right here I'm thinking I'm also going to add like a, a picture light above it but in time so I was really frustrated because I could not get it to hang I edited out a ton of footage because it was embarrassing I was struggling and y'all I was sweating It is up and it is beautiful. I really do like it. I've seen it in a lot of homes after I purchased it. So I felt like, yay me, I made a good choice. And so I also got this from TJ Maxx online. If you didn't know, TJ Maxx Marshalls is online now, Home Goods as well. And then I have this Threshold Ceramic Pot. This is from the Spring Collection at Target. You remember we did the shop with me last week? If not, I'll put it in the cards here. Check that out. But I love this pot because it's substantial. I like that it's not too busy, but I like that I can change out the greenery for the seasons, which that's amazing. I will always hit up Hobby Lobby when their items are for sale. I will not pay full price, but these stems are from there. I don't know what they're called. And this little styrofoam block here or floral, I don't know what it's called exactly. It's from um, the Dollar Tree. So always look for ways that you can save money. You're gonna see I'm gonna really rig this a bit and I didn't spend a dollar on it, so um, on what I did. So you take this little block, you put it in the bottom. The way this was shaped, I could shove it in there, but you can always hot glue it, which I really should have done, but my time was so limited. Chris took Emma to the park, so I knew this mama had to get hot and keep working. So you can hot glue it, that would be ideal. I did not, but and it ended up working, but I had to add more stuff, which you'll see. So I'm going to bend these back. I had this in here folded and I wanted to get it more secure, so I flattened it back out. And then I'm gonna get my wire cutters and cut the bottom. Um, I like that they have little ridges so you kind of know on each one that you're cutting it the same size and it makes it easy. My wire cutters definitely need to be, I don't know, WD-40 or something, because it, it was brutal, but we got it done.
if you guys are going to pick up some of this floral sponge block whatever this is called you can also pick up some marbles or even rocks from the dollar tree that'll help stabilize it and keep it in place if you don't want to hot glue it to the bottom but you see i'm adding a whole bunch of just filler that i have had from packages that have come in and it works out great I'm going to continue to build this up again i want to make a base for the moss that i'm going to put on here moss is a really beautiful way to make this look a little bit more real so hobby lobby always has such a beautiful stems they have the best in my opinion and the moss just takes it an extra step okay so i have a couple of these books here so this is the home body book from um joanna Gaines, and i love it I took the cover off and I also spilled coffee all over it. I don't care, I still love it. But I took the cover off and it's beautiful to the gray, the gray and the uh, gold. And then I found this book I thought is actually, I love coffee table books, but I also just love beautiful books. So I like things that are beautiful yet functional. And I thought this was fantastic, especially because my last name is white and i love white i think it's beautiful you can take the cover off and look how gorgeous that book is but like i had said it's got beautiful pictures on the inside so i love to look at these books and get really really inspired so I'll just take these off another little trick i'm just going to give you if these can be pricey it can add up very very quickly um a couple of ideas facebook marketplace always check facebook marketplace for coffee table books secondly macari app super good deal on there i think facebook marketplace is a little bit better because it's local and you don't have to pay for shipping but if you're looking for something check macari secondly third amazon which is where i got this book I had seen it a long time ago and it was kind of out of sight, out of mind. And then I saw it in someone's home and I'm like, oh yes. So I immediately went to Amazon and picked this up. So Amazon has all of these books, but yeah, find the best price. You know, that's how I, everything we do here will be on a budget. And I love these two books together. How beautiful. Let's see. Let's see how it's going to look. Okay, so the white's got to go on the bottom because it's just a little bit bigger. But just these two together, how pretty. And I don't even care that it's stained with coffee. <laughs> I don't even care. So I like having books, also, like I had said, just to read, but it gives height and some visual interest. So to this table here, it's I have put it, put it together. It's from TJ Maxx and uh, TJ Maxx Online. And this is the Threshold Ceramic Pot from Target. So... I like that I can change these up for the season. I've got some cherry blossoms that are gonna go in here. And for some visual interest and height, I'm gonna put these two books right here. I think it's so pretty.
Next, I'm adding this mirror I got from Target. I actually found this from Jenna Pierce. She is also on YouTube. It was in her entryway and I just loved it. I loved the leather details. I got it from Target. It was very affordable. So this is just a little something to add on this wall. And then I got these baskets from Target. I had been wanting baskets for the stairs because kids always need to take things upstairs. But the ones uh, made specially for stairs are very expensive. So these baskets were only $10 each. You don't have to spend a lot of money to have something functional. So that's just my little two cents there. Do what works. Okay, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this refresh after the holidays, new year refresh. I wanted to keep it clutter free but welcoming and warm i think i really accomplished that let me know what you think in the comments below and if you like videos like this go ahead and give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a ton i love the way everything turned out and i cannot wait to keep adding a little bits of joy and things that i find that just make me happy in this space go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we go any further we will be decorating for valentine's day very soon i'll see y'all next week bye